Hello friends and welcome to Figure Study where I'm back with more 3D printed figure goodness in the form of the Mechazone Cosmo X4. This is a little spaceship thing made by David A. White from Mechazone that is meant to sort of evoke classic top-down 2D shooters and it definitely looks the part. If you're unfamiliar with the name or if you're familiar and you can't figure out why you can place the name Mechazone or David A. White, you can check the link up there to see the Mechaboy 3D that I did a video on um, longer ago than I should probably look into because it'll just make me feel ancient. Yes, same guy. Different, like, he designed and created this on his own. Uh, the Mechaboy 3D was a collaborative effort between him and an artist named Drew Wise. So Drew Wise kind of designed the Mechaboy 3D as far as I know, and then David A. White produced it. This is 100% David A. White, and this thing looks fantastic in terms of what it's meant to be. Like, I mean, if you just look at it like this, that absolutely could be something that just goes up a screen and shoots its stuff. It's kind of perfect for that. And it's very nicely detailed. It's got some nice molding throughout. I like that he also, um, well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but you can see like there's just some nice tech detailing type stuff and panel detailing along the sides here and along the tops. Some little guns with like little energy canisters inside there, possibly guns on the insides of these little pods. And in the backs, you got thrusters on the insides of the uh, backs. Cockpit section is this nice blue, stands out on the white. Um, there are a couple of different colors that were available this, for this thing. There was, uh, I think, the white and then blue and red. I went with white because that was just my preference. But yeah, got the blue cockpit, the kind of forward guns inside there that are poking through. The, uh, what could be lights, the gray exhaust, not exhaust intake, I guess. I'm not sure why I would need an intake if it was a spaceship, but it looks cool going through to the engine that has a lot of really nice molded engine -y bits on the back there, as well as the thrusters, including the main one that has this little light blue ring on the inside. And it's some really nice molding, some really nice design. The thing that impresses me probably the most about this is the fact that as far as I'm aware, there's not really any painting going on here. It's uh, 3D printed parts and then like an acetone wash that kind of smooths them out and so that you don't get as many obvious uh, 3D printing lines. Like you can kind of see in here, it's a little bit rough, which is fine. The acetone wash kind of whittles that down a little bit. But as I said, as far as I know, nothing on this is actually painted, which means it's all different 3D printed plastics. So that means these little red lights on the insides of the uh, little side pods here, these little translucent green bits inside the guns, the color separations here with the blue cockpit and the highlighter yellow green lights there, the gray of the engine poking through the white of the cockpit section, the all the greeble underneath and the little black guns poking through the front there, the guns there, they're all separate pieces that are kind of interwoven throughout each other that give it that separation of color. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> just how intricately designed and constructed this thing is. I'm still in awe of this, and we'll take a better look at this in a couple of minutes, but just this translucent cylinder thing going through the gun is just a really nice touch. It's a neat design, and it's pulled off really well. This thing looks cool, definitely fits the bill for what it's meant to be, and it's, again, I'm just really impressed with the construction and design of this thing. Like, the colors work really well, and that separation is like that's this is something that was designed and constructed by hand yes the printing was technically done by a machine but like he designed all of these pieces and designed how they would interlock within each other designed them for like all the tolerances and stuff like that and then like built them by hand integrated all the parts together by hand it's really really cool Taking a break from all that gushing, here's the Cosmo X4 with a deluxe, and you can see that it's a little small, uh, well not small, it's smaller than a deluxe. I can't really say it's small though, I mean it's, you know, again, it's handmade, designed by one guy, it's, <laughs> it's fine. But in case you all are curious, that's how big it is when compared to a deluxe. Just for the heck of it, here it is with the Mechaboy 3D, and the... 
and tilting it up here you can kind of get a better idea of how big it is because the mecha boy 3d is taller but it's you know it's a box in this mode <laughs> so that is how it stacks up there and because why the heck not just in case anyone was curious Here's how it scales with the Mecha Boy 3D in Mecha Boy mode, I guess is what this is called, I don't know. And here is the Cosmo X4 with the duck tank. Alright, that will do it for the Cosmo X4. It is a really cool looking ship. It looks neat, as I said, it's really evocative of what it's meant to be evocative of. It just works, like it's not specifically from any top-down shooter from what I know but it totally looks like it could be from one. Detailing is great. Again, I'm just super impressed with the construction. And, um, oh yeah, I'm also impressed with the fact that it transforms. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really excited about this. So just rotate these fins in like that. Pop these guns up. And again, keep in mind, constructed by hand, designed by one guy. 3D printed, all that good stuff. So, got that. Then these pontoon things on the sides separate. These rotate down on either side, like so. And the, uh, <laughs> the top-down shooter-looking spaceship thing becomes this really awesome and adorable little, like, four-legged spaceship spider tank thing. How freaking cool is this? This is so great. Bring that up a little bit. There we go. This is so freaking great. I, I, uh, <laughs> I love this thing. It's adorable and awesome. You don't really get any new details revealed in this mode, really, but some of the details are a bit more prominent now, like these kind of dots on the uh, sides of the pontoons these little bits that really just peg in here so it's it's not new detail per se but again like different angle the underside still pretty much the same but now you've got the kind of black and white combination on the undersides of the legs which works pretty well and really the only new detail they get is the undersides of the guns here and this allows you to see in better detail how there's that translucent green piping going through the structure of the gun itself and that is just so cool this is so cool this is an astonishingly awesome idea and pulled off so well it's a really simple transformation but the fact that it can do this at all is really impressive and this actually again works within the context of what it's meant to be evoking there are some top-down shooters or some side-scrolling shooters to shoot 'em ups. We'll just say shoot 'em ups. There are some shoot 'em ups where the vehicle or robot or character or whatever you're playing as can transform into different modes. And this again totally works for something that could be either from a game like that or meant to evoke something like that, which I mean it totally is cuz that's the whole point of this thing. But this is so cool. It's simple, but it's so cool. <laughs> I had adore this thing. It's fun, it's cute, it's neat, and it transforms, which is just great. You can even pose it a little bit, just because of the double ball joints in the legs there. Because of the fact that it is constructed by hand, it's a little bit finicky in places, like, like just the way that it works, like the ball joints are a little bit snug in, whoop, <laughs> that popped off. Like, this ball joint's kind of snug when it comes to turning, and it weirdly doesn't seem to want to go forward quite as much as this one you know this is just little things not not anything that makes me dislike this or anything like that and not even really like nitpick like real nitpicks but because I'm, I'm assuming it's because it's you know handmade designed by one guy that it's not you know like the fact that there's not uniformity across all of the joints does make sense it holds together in both modes. It looks great. It can pose. That that's really all that matters. There we go. Anyway, size comparisons. Here's the X4 with a Deluxe, and I'm keeping the Deluxe in vehicle mode because this is still a vehicle. But I guess just in case you're really curious, here he is with the Deluxe in robot mode, and yeah, that's how that scales. Here it is with the Mecha Boy 3D in Mecha Boy mode, and it's... <laughs> It's almost like he's taking his little pet for a walk or something. 
And here is the spider crab tank with the duck tank. And that is gonna do it for the Mechazone Cosmo X4. This thing, as I've said, is just amazing. It's a, like, I guess technically speaking, it's a simple idea, but it pulls it off extremely well. The construction is great. The amount of engineering just in terms of how it's all put together is mind boggling to me. But then again, this is a guy who's been doing it for several years, so I guess it stands to reason that he's kind of good at what he does. Anyway, great, great little 3D printed toy. What do you all think of this thing? Is there any particular game that this reminds you of specifically? Because I'm not super well versed in shoot 'em ups myself. I'm sure this is evocative of something specific. Maybe R Type? I don't know. I never played R Type, but I'm sure you all will tell me if you are familiar. Regardless, whatever you all think, feel free to chime in down below. I always enjoy hearing from you all. And while you're at it, also feel free to like, subscribe, or if you're feeling generous, you could buy me a coffee. Any of those things would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.